Hey, good morning, good morning. I'm Johan Van Arde. I'm a business mentor, social entrepreneur. And today we are going to talk about the two biggest disservices that you can do to your future client. So what we do is we offer um, online branding, marketing, coaching, help people get more leads online, recruit more leaders, and learning how to brand and build themselves and sell their own products and also offer uh, to outsource your really, really busy work through our virtual assistant services. So as I am in the field of sales as well, I have noticed with a lot of people, two things that people typically do that is a huge, huge disservice to their clients. So what are the two biggest disservices you can do to your client? All right, so the first one is very simple. Well, here's the first thing, is if your product or your service or what you offer is right for your client and it can make their life better, enhance their life, um, it's a fit for them. doesn't matter if they need it or not, but if they can definitely benefit from it and it makes their life better, um, then they need to obviously move it and do the transaction and purchase. And for that, you get paid and they get a product or a service that makes their business more profitable, make their life better, have them take better vacations, help them to make more money, help to pay for childcare, whatever it is that it will do for them, right? So the, said, so when the second thing is that the services that you can do to them to move them away from that point or not getting them to the point where they would actually purchase. Now, I wanna make this very clear do not sell to people or get people to purchase your product or service if it's not enhancing their life or making it better or if you're going to take food off their table, you know, not, not, don't do that. But if it is the other case, then here's the two disservices. Number one, if you got to get them first to match your product or opportunity to their needs, if it's not a match and it doesn't help them, you shouldn't offer it. But when it is, you should offer it. And now here comes the two biggest disservices that you can do to that client. So first of all, if they don't, um, if they don't uh, become an owner of your product or service, um, then you haven't made their life better. It's as simple as that, and you won't get paid. And then the second big disservice that you can do is then, when that person is not sure, is to take them what we call past the point of the sale by giving them too much information. People don't need to know all the nuts and bolts, even analytical people. They need to know what it will do for them. It's W-I-I-F-M. What's in it for me? What will it do for me or for my company? What can I get out of it? They need to the gist of it, the, 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 to know exactly what it will do for them. And once they know what it will do for them, that is the most important thing. What is the benefits and the benefits of the benefits? Um, if you go into too much detail to explain what it is, you will just give them even more to think about and it will be even harder to make a decision. So those are the two biggest disservices. First, not getting them to say yes at the moment or uh, while you are busy uh, sharing your product or service with them and then taking them past the point of the sale by overselling, taking them past the point of the sale. It, especially for newbies, very, very, very easy to do because you're so eager and then you, you want to share about all the stuff this product or service can do. And really all it's about is what's in it for them. I really hope that this gave you some great value and that you get phenomenal value from it. And remember to grab our daily Alawa laptop lifestyle cheat sheet. There will be a little clip at the end of this video as well to remind you of that. So guys, take care. Aloha and God bless. Oh, and if you get some, some value out of this, tap the screen, give me some hearts and likes, and please share. You can find more great branding, marketing, and prospecting tips just like these over at lohanmanardi.com. And remember to pick up a free copy of his daily four-step Aloha Laptop Lifestyle Sheet Sheet. We'll see you over there.